So hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the designing a bandpass filter using ADS software. So uh, once you go to the ADS workspace, create an ADS workspace and you create a schematic uh, file called the filter design. I'll directly jump into the process. So once you create the schematic, you can go to the design guide and click on the passive circuit. So once you click on the passive circuit, there's a window, uh, the option called passive control window. And in the passive control window, you have three options of palette of micro strip and uh, uh, truncated and strip line and the component palette of strip line and micro strip line. And if you go to the micro strip component palette, you can find uh, various types of couplers, power dividers, filters so uh, magic keys so you can design them uh, using these uh, based on your option whether you want to design the wilkinson power divider t power divider branch line coupler or couple line filter step dampens filter hairpin filter so there are various options in the over there so once you click on the couple line filter you can select the couple line filter and drag and drop over there so the thing is you can vary the parameters such as the pass band frequency stop band frequencies you can mention the stop band and pass band uh, attenuation and you can mention the order of the filter and you can select whether it should be butterworth or chebyshev filter so i have kept as these as the uh, pass band and stop band frequencies so the stop band frequencies i have kept over 1.8 giga 1.8 to 2.4 gigahertz and the pass band frequencies of 2 to 2.2 gigahertz and after adding the uh, passband and stop band frequencies, you have to add the microstrip line and uh, you have to enter your parameters of the microstrip line. So I've taken the uh, RTG right 5880 uh, parameters 20 mil of the dielectric constant 2.2. I've taken half ounce of the conductor thickness and there the constant 0 0.004 as the conductor thickness. Well, to simulate this, there are two various things. Uh, two methods i would say one you can add the terminations over here and you can uh, do the simulation over here or else you can do the simulation through the uh, passive control window so there's an option called simulate over there you can directly do the simulation but i prefer in this method so once you have done the adding all the passband frequency and stop and all other inputs you wanted to there you can go to the pass, uh, passive control window and click on the design in the design assistant once you click on the design then you would find all the uh, couple line uh, filters which has been designed according to itself so that will get the mess done inside it so now you can add the as parameters simulations and because i have given the stop band frequency 1.8 to 2.4 um, ranging between the 1 to 3 gigahertz of the range so in the way you can also uh, design inside the passive control window beside the design assistant there's one called simulation simulate so in that you can uh, simulate via giving the stop band and pass band frequency and giving the step so i'm using the linear method and simulated the um, the filter so now i'm trying to see our s11 and s21 graphs as you can see here yeah, i got a pretty a good uh, s11 and s21 uh, skirt so once uh, you look into the 30 db of the uh, 20 db uh, down so the plots are pretty narrow to the whatever inputs i have been given so it depends upon the what is the fwb for your uh, uh, filter how is the fwb uh, and if the fwb is too small the design aspect would also be varying so if the fwb is quite large so the 30 percent or 40 percent so it uh, the filter design aspects and their simulation results would be as uh, similar as the possible uh, after the simulation so you can see the 3db points also uh, as you can see in the passband frequencies i have kept as 2 gigahertz as the fp1 and 2.2 as the fp2 now you can see m3 and m4 are on 1.9 and uh, 2.2 so it's are quite similar and matching so the resonating frequency is at 2 gigahertz which is around minus 23 db down so i think these uh, are uh, good values good results so we'll uh, 
jump into the layout design uh, after this so i'm saving the uh, the graph and uh, if you want to do the layout design you can't directly do the layout design from here so what uh, uh, you can do is you can go into the uh, passive control window design inside the design so there is an option of inside so you can select that design entirely copy that design and then you can create a new schematic so um, your name uh, i would say filter and then copy paste that design over there again doing the process of similar of adding the terminations and adding the micro strip giving the input inputs to the micro strip and the simulation parameters so i'll just do that quickly and you can see that so i would say the uh, this filter simulations would be uh, achievable uh, only on the fwb percentage so if the fwb percentage is good then uh, the filter design is also uh, the filter design would be easy and the re simulation results would also come in the better way so i wouldn't uh, recommend going for the passive control window if it is below than 5% of the fwb well you can do in that also by tuning some of the parameters so you won't get the exact results where you given as the input in the less than the 5% of the fwb if it is greater than the 10% or 20% it is easy to design via passive control window for these uh, and uh, i have done the uh, adding the uh, S11 and uh, S21 uh, in the graph. Uh, I've done everything uh, in the same format in a new. So now you can see the simpler format. Now I've done uh, converting into the layout of update uh, tools and update the layout and I've selected the layout. So it is uh, doing a little fast over there, but you can put it into 0.5x0 and uh, see the steps how I've done it. So now I need to add the ports. So I'm trying to add the ports over there. So once we have added the ports, no. so it is a process time to do the EM setup. So I'm trying to do the EM setup. So it's an RF board. So the only thing which is there is the substrate of the Rogers mill. So I'm changing it to the 20 or 40 mil. So it depends upon what uh, substrate you want to do it. So uh, right now I was using previously, I was using this. So now I'll change it to 40 mil and see what uh, variation will the circuit give or the simulations. What does it give? So I've saved the I've saved the uh, substrate and uh, changing the stop band and pass band like the start and stop frequencies. Uh, changing it to adaptive. So now I got the uh, EM layout uh, simulations. Uh, you can see. Uh, the written loss has been little down so it went little up so you can see there's a slight variation in the um, uh, 20 dB down uh, stop band frequencies and the written loss uh, was also as much same but uh, it went little up so it usually uh, um, happens in all the EM design but only thing is you have to do in the starting basis such that your written loss is high as possible so this is the EM layout uh, result currently we are having and uh, for a high FWB uh, this kind of design is easy and you can do it in a simpler format as you can do it for your mini project or you can understand how it has been done once you can do this you can if you wanted to see the 3D model you can go into the RF Pro and uh, you wanted to see the 3d model click on the dielectrics solid and you can see the 3d model over there it's a three uh, three layered uh, couple line filter so uh, i'll try to show you the front side of the filter so this is how it looks so you can see the front uh, Right. Now, how can we simulate in the RF Pro? The first thing is you have to add the ports to the uh, fully EM simulation. Drag and drop those ports to the ports uh, wallet and then click on the options and use the uh, start and stop frequencies. Uh, 
you can change the start and stop frequencies you can do the and after clicking the start and stop frequencies you can go for the run so it has been done very fastly now so once the, once the simulations are done uh, you can click on the s parameters and see the s11 plot so it's around uh, minus 14 db down so s21 so it's quite similar to the em layout design so as you can see this is the one of the method so in minus 16 dbm it's around to 1.6 and 2.6 but when we gave the graph so it is around uh, 1.8 to 2.4 so there is a slight uh, change in the s21 so it usually appears in that way but if you do some fine tuning then uh, you can get your uh, uh, required skirt over there so you can convert uh, import the 3d component of the mechanical design or uh, you can do many things from the rf pro so this is as simple as that uh, how you can design a bandpass filter using the uh, passive control window and if the skirt whatever you're looking is very good so you can directly export it to the gerber using the em layout uh, by clicking on the export option so this is a window where you can design a simple couple line filter or the hairpin filters using the uh, passive control window thank you guys